Last over from Hogg. He wants the wicket of George. Rolling up the pad. As I thought it was a bit early to be handing out the hugs between the two batsmen. Maybe just a quiet chat to say, as you said, Mike, one from you, one from me. And it's into a bit of a sponsor's product. That's a confident shout as well. The wrong end. And it's hitting on the back pad. But, uh, well, on this occasion, umpire Hare says not out. And there might only be 12 to go, but I <laughs> are all going to be grenades. And that may have hit. That was very, very close. The back pad may be missing leg stump. Very close. Probably just pitching outside the line, which was given to umpire Hare. Well, enough doubt in his mind to give the batsman the benefit of the doubt there. Oh! Good defensive shot played by Shane Jules. Just out here recovers. He's not going to run. There's no one out there, but he only has three deliveries left in this over from Hogg to face. And then he can handball the problem down to his partner at the other end, which I'm sure he'd love to do. That's right, there's no way in the world he was going. I'm sure that, that was the deal at the end of the last over. You face one over, I'll face one. And having survived half of one, he's not going to take on additional responsibilities. Well, that's a wasted delivery as well. Way outside the off stump. Doesn't make Shane George play. And I'm sure that Shane George would be happy about that. So just two balls remaining in this over, and then it's down to a six-ball match. It's been an unbelievable game of cricket. Balls defensively, just pushes it for the man. It's a short, short on the onside there. One of many, they surrounded Shane George. He's walking out outside now. He doesn't want anything to do with those players. So just one delivery left in the hog over. Interesting to see who gets the last one. Seven balls remaining in the Shield final. Last ball to be bowled for Bradley Hogg for the season. He has three wickets. He would love a fourth one right now. Oh, that's a dreadful delivery. And what a way to finish. What a disappointing way to finish. And he's very disappointed. So Brendan Julian, it's all up to him. He'll be bowing to Peter McIntyre. Now McIntyre has it all on his shoulders for South Australia. Round the wicket, Julian. And nearly three. Five balls to go. The Warriors need one wicket. Push for the Sheffield Shield. Peter McIntyre needs to face five deliveries. And South Australia will have the Sheffield Shield. So, what a tense spot it is out there. As I said before, Mike, it would be an absolute shame for either of these sides to lose because of the, the way this game is, uh, has been played right from day one. It's been a fabulous game of cricket. And, uh, well, it is quite clearly the best final that I've seen. Four balls remaining. And the batsman's been hit. He's been hit on the fielding day, on the rebound. <laughs> Sounds like a football match out here. <laughs> They're all booing. I'm sure that was just to throw up the stumps, but let's have a look. I don't think Macker looks much like a stump. Boom. War one for the team. Just apologies offered by Brad Hogg there. The West Australian rooms, Wayne Clark, the Warriors coach. So close. Three balls remaining. Well, that gives you some idea of the crowd uh, here at the Adelaide Oval. It looks like the ground is shaking every time. There's the South Australian mentor, the coach, J Jeff Hammond. He said last night on air that he would 
He doesn't doubt the fighting qualities of the South Australians. If it gets into a situation where they have to fight for a draw, then he said he has the team capable of doing just that. And, uh, well, he's only got three deliveries to be proved right. Not all the South Australians are there either in that room, Mike. I think a couple of them might be hiding. <laughs> Tom Moody went up there and had a few words to Brendan Julian. And he was probably telling him to relax. Put it on the stumps, relax. Brendan Julian broke into uh, a bit of a laugh about it. No laughing matter, mind you, but he really does have to relax. He tried a little bit too hard in the previous over. He forced things and had a couple of wasted deliveries. He needs one on the stump or just outside the off stump to force the batsman to play. And hopefully for the Warriors, get that edge into the slips in the catching court in the slips. Defensively, once again, McIntyre pushes it past the man at mid-on. No runs. There could have been a couple there. He's not bothering. He's just going for a little walk, Macker. He knows that he's got two deliveries. And the Sheffield Shield will belong to South Australia for the first time since 1981-82. And David Hooks is captaincy, so it's been a long drought for South Australia. And there's only two deliveries left to go. <laughs> And South Australia to hold that shield up high. What a great fighting effort that will be if they if they do win. Now Julian coming over the wicket. He's changing his line. He's got two deliveries to bowl. That's not a bad delivery, but it doesn't get a wicket. One ball of the final remaining. This is some sort of finish. Brendan Julian trying to get through the defences of Peter McIntyre and the ball squirted into the slips. Big crowd here. They will remember this day for a long, long time. And now the chat between the two batsmen. I don't think they would have suggested we'll take a quick single regardless of where it goes. The crowd coming down towards the fence. Tim Nielsen, a bit of nervous energy there. Come on, come on, he's saying. The Warriors want one wicket. McIntyre and the South Australians need one dot ball. It's been a long season. It started back in October. And for these two teams, it boils down to this one delivery. Well, thoroughly deserves to go down to the last ball. It's just been that sort of game. The crowd underneath the scoreboard there have just been waiting to get onto the ground. Half of them are already there. And I'd be a little bit of a hurry to get rid of this ball if I was Julian. McIntyre defends. The shield belongs to South Australia. A magnificent performance. Look at McIntyre. He is absolutely over the moon, and so he should be. He made a naught the first innings, no wicket for 103 with the ball, and he has defended stoutly for a fourth ball. What's he been in for? 58 minutes, and he has batted South Australia to a shield victory. A magnificent performance. Uh, what scenes here at the Adelaide Oval? South Australia winning their 14th Sheffield Shield title, their first since 1981-82. And on 14, they draw level with the team that has just been denied the title. And what scenes in the South Australian rooms. A fabulous effort in saving this match. And a good season's performance by the South Australian team. You can't help but feel, though, for the West Australians, who have certainly had the better of this cricket match. South Australia have done enough, though, to draw the game and take the shield. Oh, magnificent performance. Here is Peter McIntyre. He's already in the rooms now. That's the... Well, what a great game cricket is. Here he is receiving congratulations from Darren Weber, but a duck north for 103. Couldn't buy a wicket. Couldn't get a run. He battled for nearly an hour to ensure South Australia has the shield. And quite rightly, the captain, Jamie Siddons, he's <laughs> absolutely delighted with that performance. And we mustn't forget Shane George. We mustn't forget Blewett, uh, his innings today, and Brayshaw's innings. It's just been a great team performance from the South Australians. They deserve the victory today, but you could say the same thing about the Warriors. What a great performance they put up, and they nearly stole it in the finish. Well, Peter McIntyre, isn't he pumped up? Tremendous effort. A rear guard action by McIntyre and George. Before that, of course, that 
unbelievable partnership that reaped just a handful of runs between May and Siddons, but it was enough. In the last session, the last session, just 15 runs were scored in two hours of cricket. But that's what South Australia needed. Thanks very much, Michael. Jamie Siddons, congratulations. One of the great games, I think, in Australian cricket history. How do you feel? That's the way it should end in the season. Fantastic, mate. Best feeling I've ever had in this cricket field. Just tell me your thoughts during the day. I mean, it looked as though South Australia was gone and WA was gone. We were out of it, mate, but a couple of great bats have come in at the end and it held in for us. What about the crowd? And you must be very proud of your side. Excellent. Excellent. Fantastic. Jamie Siddons, well done. And WA? Bad luck, very well played. Thanks very much to Jamie Siddons. We'll see if we can grab someone else, perhaps Adam Gilchrist. Adam, can we just have a quick chat with you? Adam, commiserations for uh, the game. It was an unbelievable game. And uh, just your thoughts. Obviously, incredibly disappointed, but it went right down to the wire. Yeah, uh, exceptional game. Very good game of cricket. One of the better ones I've ever played in, but very disappointing. Uh, you know, to, to probably dominate a game like that, but, you know, they had the right to, to block out for a draw because they got the final at home. So that's what to strive for during the year, I guess. Commiserations, but congratulations on a great innings in the first innings of that century. Well done. Yeah, thanks very much, Tom. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Thank you. All right. We might just see if we can grab someone else here. There's plenty. We might go over and try and grab Greg Blewett if we can. We're still... Got Greg Blewett with us now. Now, Greg, unbelievable game. Just tell us how you feel. Oh, it's all over the moon, obviously. <laughs> it's unbelievable. After uh, tea time, when I got out, I went for a drive. I couldn't stand a couldn't stand a watch. So, um, and then I came back, and we were we were nine down. I thought it was thought it was gone, but uh, back in Georgia, uh, held on. Absolute champions. Well, congratulations on a great individual performance with the bat, and well done with winning the shield. Okay, thanks very much. All right, that's the feeling. You can hear it behind me. There's amazing euphoria here. The South Australian side, disappointment for Western Australia. They performed so well. They did all of the attacking, but in the end, South Australia had to save the game. They did, and they've won the Sheffield Shield. Let's go back to the commentary box. Well, let's get it over with. I know how hard it is for the West Australian boys to be there. I'd like to thank them for their great game. I think, uh, you know, they outplayed us in the first few days. We fought our way back into the game, and they were fantastic opposition. Uh, we finished on top. We've finally won the game. I also want to thank everyone associated with the South Australian Cricket Association from Gibbsy down. I'd also like to thank all the crowd for coming today. It's... As I said to the boys, it's nothing without the crowd, it's nothing without the South Australian public to be in here. I'd like to thank Benton and Hedges for their great support over the years. It'll be a disappointing time when they leave. Thank my players, every single one of them. We've trained hard for a long time for this moment. We've played hard all year. We've won some great games. None other, none better than this one here today. I'd also like to thank every single member of the South Australian cricket squad that participated at training or in the games during the year. Thanks, boys. A couple of lads up the top. And I'd also like to invite as many people as can fit into the planet to celebrate with us tonight. Thank you. So the South Australians are celebrating. There they are, a very happy team. The coach, the captain, all the players. A great performance.
We're going to go to a break here from the Adelaide Oval. We'll be back shortly with Mike McCann.